My name is Paul, and we're here at the Aviation Center of Excellence. It's uh, Confederation College's building where we teach young men and women to build aircraft, fly aircraft, and maintain aircraft. We have several aircraft in this building. We're looking at about uh, 30. Some of them are used to take apart and put back together again by our engineering department, the maintainers, the aircraft maintenance engineers to be. Uh, some of them of the same type are used on the other side of the building to learn how to fly. Some of the airplanes that are quite a lot older, uh, we receive them as a donation for our maintenance students to work on. These students can then take the airplane apart, put it back together again, and learn these essential skills on airplanes that are safe to work on. And when you want to get into an aviation program, the grades really matter. Uh, to get in, they are all highly sought after programs, and there are limited seats. However, the second thing you have to have in aviation, primarily, is that understanding of math and physics, but also have an attitude of safety. The standards are very high. The criticism you receive is very honest because safety is everything we do. Once you graduate from our program, the careers you can get into are manifold. Our mechanics students become apprentices at local airlines, local operators in Northwestern Ontario. The flight students go all over Canada. The manufacturing students go mostly to Southern Ontario, but even locally in Thunder Bay. Once you lay that solid foundation, your options are limitless. All the programs here are a very good starting ground to get into the military. If you take our engineer, electrical engineering program, your tuition is paid for once you serve with the Navy for several, uh, for several years. Two years ago, uh, the Snowbirds, the demonstration team from the Air Force was here, and on the team, four of their members are graduates of this program, three pilots and one mechanic. We're currently in the uh, approved training organization maintenance hangar. This is the hangar where we teach young men and women to fix aircraft. The people that are graduating from the program here are going to be aircraft maintenance engineers. They're going to be able to take an airplane apart, put it back together, and then afterwards sign their name to the work done. Unlike other vehicles, we can park by the side of the airway if something goes wrong and then figure out what that is. And the amount of mistakes you can make in maintenance are pretty much zero. Not everybody is, uh, likes to be checked all the time, their work and their quality be checked all the time, but it's, it's critical that that happens, and that's what we work on here. Every airplane comes with a stack of technical information that must be followed at all times. Every approved maintenance organization where our students are going to be working will have a lot of procedures that must be followed at all times. So we're not so much teaching uh, the students how to tighten screws or bolts, it is the process of how do you know that the part that you just got is safe to put on airplanes? In other words, is it a certified part? To change a, a, a tire seems simple enough when you do it in your car. On airplanes, there is a procedure for that. You must follow that procedure. But as far as doing extra things to get into programs, under the uh, Ontario College system, really it is your grades that would get you in the door. However, once you are in the door, it is your volunteering uh, it is your extra hard work, it is your attitude of cooperation and a positive attitude towards safety and effectivity that will get you the job afterwards. Once you're in a college uh, program, you basically started the two or three year job interview. And as the faculty and as management, as we see the students develop, we can speak very positively towards their attitudes and how well they can perform as an employee for the employers that do phone us. Um, and that is what's going to help you.